Pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Ghost, pray the Holy Ghost. He and Anna Malega di Billy Gurumana Melo, Elemana Malega Pedro, Agana Malega de Gedebe de Manado, Simala Bala 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 Lord, we are ready tonight to experience you like never before. Mm -hmm. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. E -a -e -a -e. Out of my bed, your glory, rivers of living water, out of my belly, out of my belly, your glory, rivers of living Amen. Can I get a, a bottle of water? Church, I'm going to sing that song one more time and I'm going to let you show me John 7 37. John 7 37. Look at this scripture. Let me start by asking. If you are very thirsty, how many of these can you drink? Huh? You are very thirsty. How many can you drink? You can do six, two, one. Anybody? Three? Three? Four? Who can drink four? You can finish four. Anybody? Four. I celebrate your. <laughs> you are a drunken master. So, in the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man test, let him come and drink. If you are thirsty, come and drink. <laughs> then you came, he gave you water to drink. Maybe you said one, he gave you one. Maybe you said two, he gave you two. Maybe you said three, he gave you three. He said four. Go, God gave him four. Show me next verse. Show me next verse. He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. You drank a bottle, river is flowing. You came to drink. Wait. You came to drink one or two or three or four. But the result of what you drank is rivers, not river. You came, they gave you one bottle. They gave you two bottles. But the result of what you drank is that rivers are flowing from within you. This money is another opportunity to drink. Because what, what you drink is not what will flow. God can do exceedingly abundantly. No matter what you drink, what you flow, what you flow is more. No matter what you drink, rivers will be the result. No matter how many cups, rivers will be the result. My only issue is come and drink. Come and drink. Come and drink. Come and drink. 
Was not glorified. He said, This is prayer concerning the Holy Ghost, meaning the technology for drinking is praying in the Holy Ghost. That Holy Ghost is how to drink. Holy Ghost is the system to drink. I don't know if you have a prayer language in this house this morning. If you can pray in the Holy Ghost, come and drink. 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 But academically, you are not doing well. Come and drink. It should be rivers. Maybe you are doing well spiritually, but your health is failing. Come and drink. Come and drink. It should be rivers. Maybe you are doing well maritally, but there is no fruitfulness. Come and drink. Rivers. Rivers. If you drink, there will be a flow. If you drink, there will be a flow. If you drink, there will be a flow. Today is another day to drink. Come and drink. Pray. Pray. is flowing and is operating at a particular frequency the flow of the river is not much when another river joins that river the flow is stronger are you with me Matthew 18 19 if two of you can combine your river <laughs> Matthew 18 19 if two of you can combine your river on this earth as touching anything, it shall be done. Grab a neighbor that looks like a Christian. One neighbor that looks like a Christian. Ask your neighbor, can we drink together? Can we drink together? Can you pray together? Pray, pray, pray. Shagala para para para, e para para para, 
Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Any stranger in your body, any stranger in your body. Any stranger in your bottle, afflictions, battles everywhere. I said they are roasted by fire. They are roasted by fire. Somebody shall fire. He kaba ya kaba la gata bala bala ba. Solo grebo robos. My God, my God, what are these things I'm seeing? Battles from your father's house. Battles from your mother's house. Affliction in your body. Affliction in your body. Affliction in your body. What are you waiting for? Be roasted by fire. Holy Ghost. Sweet Holy Spirit. Koi koko eternal with the Lord. Koi koko eternal with the Father. Thank you. I'm not the most qualified. Neither am I the most anointed. But the message of the Lord kept qualifying me. Holy Ghost, glorify Jesus in this meeting like never before. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressor that was on fire. And I vow not to take the glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Have your seat like kings and queens in gospel. Once again, I want to appreciate Pastor and Mama for the opportunity given to me to be here today. I celebrate you. And Pastor Titus, thank you very much for facilitating this. Hallelujah. Show me Genesis 25. I will just show you two scriptures and I'm out of your faces. Genesis 25. Show me from verse 22. I want to show you the power of prayers. There are battles that won't live your life until you pray. Prophecies will not be fulfilled until you enter into the place of prayers. Start from verse 20. Mm, babe, koton, maya, Start from verse 20. Kilabaran tozai. And Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife. And the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Pandaram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Next verse. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she was barren. Man, when your wife is not yet conceiving, don't blame her. Be like Isaac, go and pray. Men ought always to pray, not complain. When a part of your life is barren, pray. Your business is not moving, pray. Your family is failing, pray. You are struggling with your thesis, pray. Isaac saw that his wife was barren. He didn't die. He went to pray. When you notice a part of your life is not fruitful, go and pray. What happened? And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah, his wife, conceived. After Isaac prayed, God answered. The one who has our prayers, the one who has our prayers, the one who has our prayer is your name. The one who has our prayers, the one who has our prayers. The one who answers prayer is your name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The one who answers prayer is your name. Hear me. We are not praying to a dummy. We are praying to a God that answers prayer. Elijah said, The God that answered by fire, let him be God. We are not praying to a dead God. When things are tough, pray. Isaac prayed. The wife conceived. Next verse. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, if it be so, why am I just? And she went to do scan. She went to do scan. 
Let me show you this can result. This can didn't show whether the children are boys or girls. This can did not show their genotype or anything. This can did not show they are normally there. This can show something different. Show me next verse. Let me show you this can result. They went to do scan. They went to do that scan in the house of the Lord. See the result of the scan. And the scan showed, is that in your Bible? That two nations are in your womb. Ah. This can didn't see two babies. This can did not see two babies. What did this can see? Nation. Two nations. He said two manner of people. Not two manner of persons. Two manner of people shall be separated from your boys. The older shall serve the younger. What kind of scan is this one? Follow me. Next verse. Orame Kota. Follow me. See the first mistake. And when they did to be delivered and fulfilled, behold, they were twins in a womb. Next verse. And the first came out red, all like an hairy garment. And they called his name Esau. See, first problem. What did this can say? Two countries, two manner of people. When the baby came, they reduced them to persons. He said they called his name Esau. Meaning they reduced him from a nation to a person. Next verse. Next verse. After that came his brother out of the hand, and his hand took the whole, took hold of his of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. They also reduced him to a person. What did this can say? Two nations. What did the mother call them? Two persons. Hey, Kalambe Kotai. The way to receive your destiny back is traveling. Show me Genesis 32 from verse 25. Follow me. Genesis 32 from verse 25. I'm closing. Hmm. If you can get this, you can achieve anything in this life. Now, start from verse 22. Start from verse 22. From verse 22. And he rose up that night and took, this is Jacob, Jacob, after collecting his horse birthright, yet nothing was working. You know he collected his horse right, yet he was a fugitive in the house of Laban for 21 years. No result. What was the problem? He arose that night and he took, because you know, Esau said, anytime I see Jacob, I will cut off his head. You remember? So Jacob was planning to kill Esau. So now they were going to meet. He said, he took two wives and 11 sons and passed over for Jab Jabok. Next verse. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent them over the yard. Next verse. And Jacob was left alone. He was, you, when things are not working, leave Instagram. Leave, you, leave TikTok. Your life is ticking. It's not talking. Leave the air. Leave Facebook. Your face is not on any book. Come. Stay alone. Tell your neighbor, say, stay alone. Yeah. Tap your neighbor, say, stay alone. Yeah. He was left alone. And there wrestled with him a man until the day, until the breaking of the day. Can I use it for example? Are you strong, sir? You are very strong. Please come. Next verse. And when he saw that he did not prevail against him, he touched the whole of his thigh. And the whole of Jacob's thigh was out of joint and he wrestled with him. Next verse. And he said, let me go for they break it. And he said, I will not let you go except you bless me. How can a man be fighting with an angel? When God sees you are ready, he will orchestrate a match that you will win. Yes. Hear me. How many angels did Sosoroma and Gomorrah? One angel killed about 600,000 people. Yet one angel is now begging Jacob, let me go, let me go, let me go. Is God joking? Why, why did they want me? God and angel and man. Angel. He said, Jacob said, I will not. He said, I will not. He said, let me go. For they break it. Angel said, Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. As you told me you are fit. Oh. <laughs> I will not let you go. The angel was begging Jacob. Sometimes God is allowing you. You are praying. It was an arrangement to make you win. God was trying to check, will you travel? Or will you get tired too soon? Jacob said throughout this night, I know I'm about to eat it. You are not going anywhere, sir. So they began to fight. 
they began to fight. I will not let you go unless you bless me. Today is my day. Next verse. And then he said to him, what is your name? Because I thought Jacob was asking for blessing. What was the question of the angel? What is the relationship between name and blessing? He said, Jacob. Next verse. The angel checked the system. Jacob, error. 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 He said, okay, maybe I'm Esau because I took his birthright. Esau, error. 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 What happened next? And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But what? What was his scan? What was his scan? What was his scan? Kareba Tongaba. The scan said two nations. The mother called them two babies. Jacob was moving all his life without results. But one day he met an angel. The angel said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, no, no, no. Actually, you are supposed to be called a nation. And he changed his name to a country. For as a prince, thou hast had power with God and with men and has prevailed. Next verse. And Jacob asked him and said, tell me, I pray thee, thy name. He said, wherefore is that that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of the place Penny. The angel said, you don't need my name. You should have need a name. You don't need my name. I've changed your destiny back to what this can said. Because of time. Notice. Esau said, the next time I meet Jacob, I will kill him, maybe. Because of time, I can't show you. When Esau met Jacob, he said, my brother, I love you. Why? He met a country. Can one man fight UK? You can't fight a nation and win. Esau didn't meet any angel that can change his own name. But Jacob had an encounter that changed his name. He became a nation. And from that day to today, do you know any country called Edom? But do you know Israel? Surrounded by the enemies, yet they can't be defeated. Throwing missiles, as the missile is coming, Iron Dome is repelling it. You can't kill that nation. You don't understand? They receive that name from a fight. The place of prayer is a place of fight. Rise up on your feet, somebody. Your destiny will not be changed until you encounter God in the place of fight. Can I give you two minutes to fight? Today is your day of a change. Today is your day of a change. When things are not working, enter into the place of prayer. Wrestle with an angel. Your marriage will not come because you are fine. Your job will not come because you are fine. It will come because you can fight. Your baby will not come because you are fine. It will come because you can fight. Today is the day of fight. Wow! Hey, I'm not going to go. 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 I'm not I know a day will come when we will do this for like six hours. And in that day, you'll be able to wrestle. But because of time, I will close. Uh, can I say this to you? Anything that is not working will not work until you make it work. The place of prayer is the place to make things work. Jacob wrestled with the angel and he became a nation. Your business will not glow. After the PR, after human management, after marketing skills, if nothing is working, sir, wrestle. Marriage will not work until you wrestle. Nothing works until you make it work. The place of prayer is the place where things work. Wrestle. You are here this morning, you want to say, Pastor, I want to begin to wrestle. But there are things in my life that is not allowing my wrestling to move. Show me Isaiah 59, verse 1. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Amen. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. 
Neither is, is here heavy that you cannot hear. Next verse. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. That your, and your sins have hid his face from you. That he will not hear you. You know what I'm Pastor? I'm tired of God not hearing me. I want to let go of my sins. Sin will sting you and sink you till you begin to stink. Sin will sting you like a bee. Sink you till you begin to stink. I want to pray for you. You are struggling with the sin. Addicted to one addiction. You are tired of rising and falling. I want to pray for you today. Wherever you are, please lift up your right hand. You want to give your life to Jesus. You are tired. You are tired. This is what is stopping your prayer. I want to pray for you. Lift it up above your head. All of you lifting up your hands. Don't be shy. Please come forward. Let me hold hands with you here. I want to shake your hands here. Please come. Thank you, my sister. Come. Don't be shy. Thank you, my brother. Come. Yes, keep coming. Keep coming. <laughs> Hallowed be your name. The kingdom come. The one who wants a prayer is your name. Hallowed be the name. The kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. I love you that name. The kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. I love you that name. Oh, the kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. I love you that name. The kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Is he standing there? Run out now. Five. You are still there. Today is your opportunity. If you miss it, I don't know. Come. Come. I'm going to give you one minute. Find your way to the front. You know you are struggling with sin. You know you are struggling. Come. You are addicted to something. You are in trouble. Come. You want Jesus to help you. Please come. I'm going to give you one minute. Please come. I love it on the... The kingdom come. The one who has a prayer is your name. Wait, wait. If I'm praying for those who are repenting in front and you are saying amen where you are, the prayer is not for you. How? Jesus didn't die for you in private. He did it in public. If Jesus did it on the cross in public, you too, you have to accept him in public. You can't stand where you are and be saying amen. Run out! I'm giving you one minute. Find your way to the front. Hello, be your name. Thank you, my sister. Back in the is many three persons. Is many three. Hello, be your name. All of you in front say after me, say, Lord Jesus, I am sorry for my mistakes. I am sorry for my sins. I am tired of them. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. I confess you as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart. Save my soul. Deliver me from the power of sin. And I will never go back again forever and ever. Amen. I decree a new season for you. 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 Everybody just stretch forth your two hands. I prophesy as God's prophet. Anything that is stagnated in your life, by this encounter, enter into a new season of this. Lord, wherever you hear the loudest amen, I say receive your miracles. Receive your breakthroughs. Receive your settlement. Marital settlement, fruit of the womb, academic breakthroughs, your COS, your share God, anything you are trusting God for, get it now, get it now, get it now, go and prosper, go and excel, go and make it. You guys in front, 
I have a request from you. I need your exact prayer points and your name. There's a sister over there. They will give you a card. Write your prayer points and your name on it. And then pastor will be willing to pray for you. Yes. As I finish this prayer, just follow this sister. Write your name and your prayer point and return back to your seat. Everybody stretch forth your hands. Just wait, wait. Wait until I finish the prayer. Stretch forth your hands. Anyone sick in this church, I speak as God's prophet. That affliction dies now. Help this lady, help this lady. Fire, 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 fire. Anyone sick, anyone carrying a sick baby, anyone carrying a sick child, a sick spouse, I rebook autism, I rebook Down syndrome, I rebook cancer, I rebook cancer, I rebook fibroid, I rebook diabetes, I rebook blood disease, any affliction, they are roasted by fire. Any battle that came in the dream, battle that came into your body, I said they are roasted by fire. Whatever you are trusting God for, receive it now. Receive it now. Between now and November, the miracle you have not received in three years, the kind of miracles you have not touched before, receive! It is well with you. Carry favor. Carry blessings. Carry miracle. Everyone trusting God for marital settlement, you are sorted. Everyone trusting God for fruit of the womb, you are sorted. Everyone trusting God for scholarship, get it. Trusting God for money, breakthrough, receive it. It is done. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Do you know what you do for me? When you receive a miracle, the way to respond is a shout. Wait, wait. Do it like you are sure. Wait, are you sure something has happened to you today? Do it like you are sure. Somebody run! Rejoice! 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 appreciate you. May the Lord, may the oil on your head never run dry in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's time for our offering. Package your offering. Package your tithe. Your seeds. Your vows. Every, every kind of giving that you have brought to the Lord this morning. Package it. If you need an envelope, the ushers are along the aisle. Just signal them and they will give you one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to thank the name of the Lord? The one who has answered our prayers. I want us to be on our feet as we give our offering. Hallelujah.
you for this seed that you have given us this afternoon. Father, we give you all the praise. Accept our offerings, accept our tithes. As you have obeyed your word, Father, let the heavens be opened over our lives. In the name of Jesus, let the blessings of good measures, press down, shaking together and running over, rest upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for it is done. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You may be comfortably seated. Hallelujah. This moment, we would like to welcome some special group of people in our midst this morning. If today is your first time in Amazing Grace Chapel on a Sunday morning, please, can you wave? If you're in the back hall, if you're in the front door, can you wave? Hallelujah. Can you please rise to your feet? We have a special way of welcoming our first timers. Please, can you rise? Can you please rise? church and our lead pastor we welcome you to amazing grace chapel where god raises change agents hallelujah and we hope you have been blessed this morning after the service please don't be in a hurry okay you the ushers will move you to the to my left the minister's seat and they will tell you more about the church may the lord bless you as you do so in the name of jesus amen hallelujah can we please celebrate our sister as she comes forward? Hallelujah! Can I ask all the intercessors to please rise on their feet? God has been faithful to us. The Bible says in Psalm 65, verse 2, He says, So you that hear prayers, do you all flesh will come? Well, just come back to say thank you to God for a year of blessings, a year of answered prayers. A year that God himself has empowered us. Hallelujah. You are going to dance out as we give our thanks, giving our free. And we will just give God praise. When you come up, please just stay here. And let's thank God together as Pastor also comes up to pray for us. Come on.
that song captures our heart, we have come back to say thank you to God for the strength. You know, Pastor Daniel spoke about the angel that strengthens in the place of prayer. For the strength that God always supplies, we are saying thank you. For the grace to do the will of the Father, even when it's not convenient, we are saying thank you. For the times that we have had, you know, the impression to pray and the will to pray, we are saying thank you. The Bible says he's the one that's working us both to will and to do. And for all of these, we are saying thank you. Together as a team, we put together a seed and we're presenting it to the church towards the bus, towards the, um, the bus project. And we're just saying, we know it's not too much, but we are, it's our heart. And we pray that, you know, we received with all of our, our heart as well in the name of Jesus. Can we just invite Pastor Isaac, please create a space. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's invite our general father, the president general, our man's agency. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just like what I did in the first uh, service, before I asked uh, Pastor uh, Daniel Olawande to pray for you, there's a scripture that came to mind, which is taken from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, reading from verse 5 to 7. And I read over you, and if a man also strive for mastery, yet is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Take notes. Verse it says, The husbandman that laboreth must be first partaker of the fruit. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Can I hear amen? amen? You can't be praying for church and nothing is happening in your life. You can't be calling meeting every first Tuesday of the month, every evening, every now and then. Praying, beginning of every of the services, and your own life has nothing to show. The scripture says, The husbandman that laboreth, with your hands lifted up to God, must first be the partaker of the fruits. Pastor P. Daniel Pace, you have labored. Grace to begin to see reward now. After this anniversary of your own day, grace to be the first partaker. Before anybody runs out to share testimony, let it be said that the prayer warriors, they are always number one. I said, be number one. In the name of Jesus. Uh, is there any way that we are doing it that is not pleasing unto God? That scripture says, if a man strive for mastery, yet is not crowned, except he strive lawfully. Lord, what do I need to do right? Yes, sir. John 16, 24. It at all you have asked me not. Mm. Then now ask. So that your joy may be full. Yes. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. He said, mm. Eat at all, you have asked me nothing. Mm. John 16, 24. Mangedia. You have been asking God for church. You have been asking, you have asked him nothing. Eat at all, you have asked me nothing in my name. Ask and ye shall receive now that your joy may be full. God said you should ask. 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 You have not asked anything, not this way. Mm. You have been asking for the church. Now is your turn to ask. Because your joy is about to be full. Mm. Receive it. Yes. Please ask. Don't ask for small things. Ask for big things. Ask for big things. Big things. Mm. Mm. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. I prophesy everything you ask. According to this scripture, receive. Amen. Amen. Everything you have asked, mm. according to this prophetic word, he said, Ask now. So Kada that your joy may be full. Your Amen. joy will be full. I say your joy will be full. Amen. Everything you ask, receive. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Congratulations. God bless you.
Happy Intercessors Day. Happy Intercessors Year. Happy New Year to you all. Waiting to receive your testimony in Jesus' name. Give them a round of applause as they go back. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can I have the choir, please? Get back to choir, please. We need you. Um, as the man of God was preaching, one or two things that we have to do quickly before he leaves is going back uh, today to minister in another church, I think, this evening by the grace of God. In the first service, I made this announcement, but God wants us to do another thing entirely. I thought I will be sharing one or two testimony regarding what God is doing for the church, but maybe I will leave that till next week if he permits. But there is a funding opportunity for a black student for full scholarship for PhD. Uh, students who are ready, maybe you are now an home student or you are getting to that uh, level of becoming one. Uh, opportunity is uh, around now for you. Please let me know if you are interested in a research uh, program for PhD full scholarship. That will be awesome. Um, during the scripture that the man of God raised, he raised a scripture that has to do with the living water, you know, and all of that. The Lord just says to me, you have never, never, never. Maybe you do it once in a year, but say it publicly today. I want to appreciate the media for doing a very, very good job. Thank you. And the technical, thank you. Help me appreciate them, please. I see... Hallelujah. I complain when they are not doing it right, but when I saw the background of that scripture, the Lord says, this is a good one. So thank you, media. God bless you. Hallelujah. Also help me appreciate the logistics and the transportation team, please. Help me appreciate them. Hallelujah. So while the ministration was going on, the song that a pastor God gave to him, you know, uh, to raise. And I think he's the brain behind that, uh, that particular song. We're going to sing that song, but God says something to me. He said, my son, hear this, and I picked my pen, and I wrote everything down. God says, we have seven individuals in our church today, and you need the prayer, the backing of Pastor P. Daniel. Honestly. Enemy is saying to you, you are going to Nigeria before end of the year. Seven of you. And out of these seven, there's a particular individual who is trying to commit suicide in our midst. So the seven people and the one who is planning, the one trying to commit suicide is a man. He said, you have not even mentioned it to your wife. Okay but you are planning to just end it between now and end of the year. And God is saying, my son, remember the covenant I have with you. You are not going to bury anyone in this church. So if you are dying individual, I want you to run forward and meet the man of God. And the seven who enemy is saying to you, oh, you will end up going back. You are going back because there is nothing for you in the land. God is saying, there is a lot for you in the land. There is no need of thinking suicide to say that thought, there is no need of thinking that you are going back home. God is saying, this is the hour, this is the season for your divine visitation. If you are such, okay, if you can come right now, I don't call people forward to avoid embarrassment. But if this is what God is saying, you better run forward. That is instruction number one. Instruction number two, I heard in my spirit. That P. Daniel may not come back into our church until another, maybe months, maybe a year, because he's a very busy man. And God is saying, tap into the grace that he has today. So by the time he returns, he will be hearing testimony upon testimony. So before we leave and share the grace, he will lay hands, he will just touch your head with oil. Everybody, everyone, if he says, Sir, join me to do that. I will join him. But that is what God is saying to me. I've not mentioned this to him, but I'm saying it to him right now. This is what God wants you to do for us, sir. To just touch the oil and touch our forehead. Every single individual. If you want me and other ministers to join you, so be it. 
But if you want to do it alone, that's what God laid upon my hand. So the people that I've mentioned, you want to run forward quickly, can we rise on our feet? And the song that God wants us to sing, Owo Oluwang Bemifo. So as he lay hands on us, that Owo is going to carry us. Can I see the people in front right now run forward? I'm not begging you. I don't know you. Nobody has come to me to tell Hallelujah. me about your story. Seven oh, people are oh, thinking, oh, are thinking oh, sorry. of going back to Nigeria. Oh, 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 and one is thinking of committing suicide. The one that is thinking of committing suicide, I want you to see me and Pastor D at the end of the service together. But these are the ones who is saying, enemy is saying to you, you are going back to Nigeria. You are not going anywhere. So the man of God will pray for you. Yes, can we have the hoy, the boat, please? Yes, we have. Is yes, sir. Oh, baby, fool. Choir, please. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Let me put this scripture. I think it's Isaiah 14. It says, By the reason of anointing, the yoke shall be broken. Yes, sir. Uh, let me put up that scripture. I think it's Isaiah 40, verse 10 or something. I think I missed the scripture. Eh? 10, 27. Yes. Let me put the scripture. So that you can understand what is happening to you and anybody we anoint today. There are three dimensions I'm going to share with you. Number one, Every yoke in your life will be broken. Amen. Number two, the anointing can compel favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Now, when the oil touches you, every yoke you are carrying will be destroyed. Number two, when the oil came upon David, when the oil came, let me even use Saul. When the oil came upon Saul, he became another man. Immediately from that place, what happened was that three men met him and they gave him gifts. He moved from that place, he entered the company of prophets. He began to prophesy. As the oil touches you, yokes will be broken. Amen. God will give you, you will become another person. Then men will begin to favor you. Then look at what happened last. The animal that was lost, that Saul was looking for, what happened? The animal began to return home. The things that have left your life will be coming back. So when you are coming for this impartation, be hungry for these four dimensions. Mm. That yokes will be broken, that you become another person, yes. that now you begin to attract blessing, mm. that the things that have left your life, what will happen to them? They will come back. Amen. These four dimensions are the things God is releasing in the service this morning. Male kosho branda after the people in the front, ushers will guide us how we will come one by one. And we are going to be very, very smart and be fast about this. Once you are anointed, you can go back. Once you are anointed, you can go back. Oh, baby. begin to direct people quickly right now as in four minutes we are done five minutes we are through continue quiet oh baby four
anointed. The song they are singing is not for us. They are not entertaining us. It's prophetic. I want everybody to be involved in singing that song with energy inside of you. Begin to sing now. Oh, 
to me. I don't know why. So we are singing that song the next three minutes. Everybody with your jacket, with your tambourine, you are jumping because yeah, he's nah, making nah, nah, you nah. to fly right now. In yeah, the name yeah, of yeah. Jesus, don't mind anybody who is watching and looking at you. Hongbe Ifo, right now. Hongbe Ifo, right now. Hongbe Ifo, right now. Hongbe Ifo, right now.
There is no announcement during this second service. So, man of God will just close for us. And Opa me will do, make an announcement, and that will be the end. Just pray for us, sir. Can we all be on our knees, please? This is the day the Lord has made. Yes. We are going to read Isaiah chapter 60 together. Let me put message version. Isaiah 60. Let me put message version. That is our scripture today. That's how I'm closing. Isaiah 60. Message version. Ah, it's too small. It's too small. It's too small. Can you make it wide? So everybody can see it. Is it possible? It is. <laughs> I want message version. Message, please. That is our confession this service. Message version. Mm. Okay. You will say it after me since we can't all say it. No. Say, get out of bed. Mention your name, Daniel. Let's go again. Get out of bed. Daniel. Wake up. Put your face in the sunlight. God's bright glory has risen for you. The whole earth is round in darkness. All people sunk in deep darkness. But God rises on you, Daniel. His sunrise glory breaks over you. Nations will come to your light. Kings will kings to your sun God's brightness. Look up, Daniel. Look around. Watch as they gather. Watch as they approach you. Your sons are coming from great distances. Your daughters carried by their nannies. Daniel! Media, 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 media. That. Okay, let's go again. Want to go? His sunrise breaks over you. Nations will come to your light, Daniel. Kings to your sombre brightness. Daniel, look up. Look around. Watch as they gather. Watch as they approach you. Your sons coming from great distances. Your daughters carried by their nannies. Daniel, when you see them coming, you will smile. Big smile. And yes, post all those people returning by the sea for the union, a rich harvest of exiles gathered in from the nations and the streams of camel caravans as far as your eyes can see. Young camel of nomads in media and ever pouring in from the south from Sheba, loaded with gold and frankincense, preaching the praises of our God. And yes, a great random of flocks from the nomad in Kedah, in Nebaoth. Welcome gift for worship at the altar of my God. As I part my glorious temple in splendor. What? What? That, what that we see in distance, what that we see in distance. A, cloud a cloud on the horizon, like those like darkening the sky, is chips 
from the distance island, the famous Tashi ships, returning your children from far away places, loaded with riches, with silver and gold, and backed up by the name of my God, the Holy of Israel, showering me with splendor. Pay attention to this place. Here yeah, now we will move to my foreigners will build my walls. They are kings who assist in the conduct of worship. When God was angry, he hit us hard. In his desire, he is now tender. Daniel, your gate, my gate, we always be open. Open house, day and night, receiving deliveries of wealth from all nations. Pay attention to this place. And their kings will be my delivery boys. Will be my delivery boys. Say it very well. Say it very well. And their kings will be my delivery boys. I said again. Say it again. And their kings will be will be my delivery boys. Any nation, any nation, or kingdom, or kingdom that doesn't deliver to me, that doesn't deliver to me, will perish. They will perish. Ah, those nations. We will be totally wasted. We'll be totally wasted. The rich blessings, the rich blessings from, United Kingdom from United Kingdom will be delivered. Will be delivered. All the blessings, all the blessings from all over the world, from all over the world, they will be delivered. They will be delivered to give splendid elegance to, this splendid to the elegance sanctuary of my God. The sanctuary of my God. My, God. my, God. my Lord will make His foot too glorious. Lord will make His foot too glorious. The descendant of my oppressors, descendant of my oppressors, we come bowing. We come bowing and scrapping to me. And scrapping to all me. who look down on me. All who look down on me. In contempt. In contempt. We lick my boots. We lick my boots. Uh, are you still here? Carabala, bala, they will confer on me. They will confer on me. A title. A title. The city of God. The city of God. Zion. Zion. The holy of Israel. The holy of Israel. Not long ago. Long, long ago. I was despised. I was despised. Refused. Out of the way, unvisited, ignored. But now, but now, but now, I am on my feet. Next verse. Don't worry and plan forever. Enjoy to look at. I will suck the milk of the nations. And the breast of royalty. Say it again. Say, I will suck the milk of the nations. And the breast of royalty. I will know. That my God, oh my God and my Savior, oh my, Savior. my Redeemer, my Redeemer. Champion, of Jacob. champion of Jacob, He will give me only the best. He will give me only the best. Mm. No more hand me down. No more hand me down. Gold instead of bronze. Gold instead of bronze. Silver instead of iron. Silver instead of bronze iron. instead of wood. Brown instead of iron instead of stone. Iron instead of stone. He will install peace. He will install peace. To run my family. To run my family. He will make righteousness my boss. He will make righteousness my boss. There will be no more stories, there will be no more stories. of crime in my land. Of crime in, in my family. In my family. No more robbery. No more, no more vandalism. No more vandalism. The name, the name of my main street shall be called Salvation Way. Salvation Way. He will install Prince Park at the center of my city. And we have no more need of the sun by the day. No, 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 more need of the sun by the day. No brightness of the moon at the night. No, the of the moon God will be my eternal light. God will be my eternal light. I, my God will bat me in splendor. Hey. God will bat me in splendor. My God will bat me in splendor. My God will bat me. My sun will never go down. My sun will my moon will never fade. God will be my eternal light. My days of grieving are over. All my people will live right. And well. In their permanent properties. In United Kingdom. No more mortgage. Everything will be paid for. In this city. In this nation. <laughs> Everything I plant. We shoot out grain. We shoot out grain. Anything I plant in my own land. We display God's glory. We display God's glory. Pay attention to this one. The runt will become a great tribe. A weakling among us will become a strong nation. See, I am becoming a strong nation. At the right time. At 
Today is the right time. Today is the right day. This week is the right week. This month is the right month. This year is the right year. I am becoming a great nation. I am becoming a great nation. I am becoming a great nation. Everything you have declared today from this scripture, walk in the reality of it. Every one of us in church today and those watching online, no matter how small we are, we are becoming a strong nation. Enter your season of miracles. Amen. Your season of harvest. Amen. It's a new dawn for you. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. Amen. For your light has come. Arise and shine. Amen. For your light has come. Yes. Arise and shine. Hallelujah. For your light has come. Look for seven persons. Tell them no more darkness. No more darkness. I am shining. No I am shining. No more darkness. No more darkness. I am shining. I am shining. Amen. Amen. Let me close with this scripture. Show me 1 Chronicles 12 22. 1 Chronicles 12 22. Hmm. I don't know if choir can go could learn one of my new songs. Uh, the time is gone. The song is 1 Chronicles 12 22. 22. Hmm. The song is day by day. Day by day. Day in all lower day by day. day. That's not the beat, oh. <laughs> you are playing reggae. Day by day, day, day by day, in all lower day by day. day. Hello, sir. It's too. Check one loofun on me. I can play it myself, oh. You can play it. Ever look at this scripture. For at that time, once in a week, Ready for what do you see here? Day by day, they came to David to help him. How many times a week, sir? How many times in a month? Is it once in a year? They came to David to help him. How many times? Day by day, until he became a great host, like the host of God. Blessings can come every day. Help can come day by day. Say from today, I enter day by day. Are you ready? Day by day, day by day, in a lower day by day. Day by day, in a lower day by day. Day by day, in a lower. No week by week, no week by week, no month by month, no month by month. No year by year, no year by year. No see the one. No we by we, no we by we. No month by month.